He is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine, he is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. All day long, all day long. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind. All day long, all day long. Jesus, I know. He is mine, oh, he is mine, he is mine, joy in my soul, peace in my mind, he is mine, he is mine, Jesus, I know he is mine. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, God bless you, Deacon and Sister Polk, Good morning, Anointed to Praise. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Reese Cup. God bless you, Elder Johnson. Thank God for you and Sister Julia and all the wonderful saints. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Brother Henderson. God bless you and Sister Lisa. Good morning, Sister, I'm sorry, Sister Banks. God bless you. Um, Tamika, good morning, Reese. Good morning, Jewel. Good morning, Patia. God bless you, Mika. Praise the Lord to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Stimson. God bless you and Deacon Stimson. Good morning, Sister Johnson Walker. God bless you, Deacon Walker and the family. Good morning. Praise the Lord, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad Tobago. Good morning, Bishop and Lady Alday. God bless you and your family and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Mother Riley. Good morning, Pastor. Pastor and Lady Williams, God bless you, your family, and all the saints of United Refuge. Good morning, Elder and Sister Adams. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Winters. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Sister Keelan. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Clark. God bless you and Deacon Clark and your family. Good morning, Sister Lawson Williams. God bless you, Pastor Williams, and your family. Good morning, Sister Rosalind. Good morning. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Barnwell. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Phyllis. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and your family. Good morning, Sister Minor. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Bryant. God bless you. Good morning, Carmelita. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Riley. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Terrence and your family. Family. Good morning, Mother Wilson. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Elder and Sister Bailey. God bless you and your family. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Baisden. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Mary. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Mother Wilson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Christine. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you. God bless you, Deacon Grant and your family. God bless you, Minister Scott. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know and every single day we see the manifestation of God through prayer God healing God touching God delivering we've been thanking God for the progress of a dear sister in in the body of Christ who suffered a stroke but things are starting to come back they're starting to wean her off the ventilator and I'm praising God because there's a miracle in progress yes 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 I don't know who that is for hallelujah besides this precious sister but I came to 
to tell you that there is a miracle in progress. Hallelujah. Somewhere God is working on behalf of somebody's life and we thank and believe him for everything that he's doing. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, place it into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, place it in the chat there on the screen or you can direct message Pastor RJD and to everybody that's on the conference call and we thank God for all of our conference call listeners, everybody that's on YouTube, thank God for you and anybody can text in their prayer request and that number is 336-567-5358. Again, the number to text in your prayer request is 336-567-5358. You can text them. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them and yes, we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders. Come on and go with me now. Back to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter number 13. And we want to read verses 19 through 21. Verses 19 through 21. The Bible says the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. Good shall be repaid. And I want to talk to you this morning from the thought walking with the wise. Walking with the wise. Um the Bible says how can two walk together except they be agreed? And walking with someone is not just about strolling, going through um, taking a walk in the park, taking a walk down a street or in the woods. Um, when you talk about walking with somebody, it is aligning your steps to their steps. Um, when you walk with somebody, each person has to adjust their pace, their gait, their steps so that you're in sync. You're in sync. And that's why um, the Bible says that Enoch walked with God. That's significant. God didn't walk with Enoch. Enoch walked with God. And what that means is that Enoch adjusted his steps so that he could be in order with God. And the walk of Enoch was so godly, so faith driven, so righteous until one day God said, Enoch, we're going to take a walk, and this time we're not coming back. And Enoch walked out of the earth, into the atmosphere, into the stratosphere, into space, until he found himself literally in the presence of God in glory. You And for, for that to happen, Enoch had to adjust his steps to God's steps. God didn't change his ways for Enoch. Enoch changed his ways for God. And so often people um, want wisdom, but they want wisdom without change. And you can't have wisdom without making changes, adjusting the walk, adjusting the steps, adjusting the pathway. You can't walk without doing that. And so it's important, it's significant that when we talk about walking with the wise, we're talking about making some life adjustments, making some life changes, making some attitude adjustments, all so that we can walk with the wise. The text in verse 19 says the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. In other words, people who are foolish 
in their mindset, in their faith, in their knowledge, in their understanding, in their decisions, um, refuse. They hate to walk away from evil. They want to stay in their mess. They want to stay in their stuff. They want to stay doing what they were doing rather than adjusting, rather than adjusting so that they can change. They say it's an abomination to fools to depart from evil. In other words, they refuse to walk out of it. They refuse to give it up. But the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. In other words, when God puts you on a path, when God puts you on a track, when God plants a desire in your heart and you begin to live for God as a means of achieving your desire. Let me say it again. When you begin to live for God as a means of achieving your desire, people want things, but they want them sometimes without God. When the Bible says no good thing. Will he withhold from them that do what? Just walk upright. Believe it or not, the greatest pathway to miracles, to blessings, to um, fulfillment, to God doing something in your life is simply learning how to walk upright before God. Sometimes we pull the other things. We go after the other things when we really ought to be pursuing God. Let me say it again. You really need to pursue God. You need to pursue the relationship, the fellowship, the faith, the mindset, the, 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 the desire to serve, the desire to love God. And in the pursuit of God, you're going to run into your blessing. Let me say that again. In the pursuit of God, you will run into your blessing. When you pursue God, when you chase God, the blessings start chasing you. Hallelujah. The blessings start chasing you. All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. They're going to come on on you hallelujah because you take the time to pursue God verse 20 he that walketh with wise men shall be wise let me say it again. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. You know, your life either flows or ebbs or benefits based upon who you connect with. Hallelujah. Who who are you connected to? Because that's a reflection of where you're going. Who are you aligned with? Because once again, that's a reflection of where you're going. And if you're aligned with people of quality, people of spirituality, people of righteousness, people of holiness, it's going to lift your life. If you align yourself with people who are ungodly, if you align yourself with people that have no real desire to know or to serve God, it's going to bring you down. Righteousness exalted the nation. But sinners are reproached to any people. Sin will drag you down. And it matters, saints, who you're connected with. Hallelujah. That's why years ago, parents didn't let their children hang out with just anybody. They, they, they Before you could go to their house, your parents had to meet their parents because you wanted to make sure there was a similarity in values. If you didn't drink, you didn't want your children around people that drink, even the adults. If you didn't smoke, you didn't want your children around people that smoke. But now we seem to have no kind of boundaries or barriers or controls over who our children are with. And then we wonder why they turn out the way they do. They leave good homes and go into bad environments. They leave godly, hallelujah, situations and get entangled with ungodly people. But I came to remind you that it matters who you connect with. And it's not just for children. As adults, it matters who we hang with, who we talk to. I watch relationships. I watch connections. I watch who's going out to lunch with whom and who's hanging out with whom. Because in those connections, there's a transference. Yes, it is. There's a transference of mindset. There's a transference of ideals. And there's even a transference of spirits. My brothers, my sisters, you got to be careful who you devote a lot of time to. Because in that time, hallelujah, element is the transfer of spirits and you're wondering why am I now so angry why am I now so bitter why am I now so difficult to get along with why am I so cantankerous look at who you've been hanging around if you hang around cranky people it's going to make you cranky yeah it is it is it is if you hang around people that are doubtful and angry and fussing and cussing it's going to influence and impact you hallelujah that's why if you're not influencing saying 
saints, you're being influenced. I'm going to say it again. If you're not influencing, you are being influenced. And so it's important that you take time. And it doesn't mean we shouldn't witness. It doesn't mean we shouldn't spend time with people that are not, praise our God, at our spiritual level. But it does mean who are we opening our minds and our hearts to? Who has access to our thoughts? Who has access to to our mindsets. And that's where we begin to, to see the changes in behavior. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. It's going to rub off. It's going to be manifested. It's going to be expressed. And in the course of wisdom, I learned so many things. And you, I'm going to say this, you know, most of my very close friends, hallelujah, growing up were older than me. They some as much as 10 years older than me. And, and, and so I didn't necessarily hang around my chronological peers. I hung around people who could pour into me, people who could give me information, people that could help me learn and grow. I learned about manhood by being with good men. I learned about marriage and family by being around good men. I learned about responsibility by being around good men. It has an impact. It has an impact. Now everybody wants to hang out only with their peers. But let me just tell explain something to you. The only thing a 16 year old can give you is 16 year old information. That's it. That's it. That's your life experience. The only thing a 20 year old can give you is 20 year old information. And when you cling to them and you don't spend time with your own parents, you don't spend time with older believers in the church. You don't spend time with mature people that know and love God. It's a, it determines why sometimes we don't grow. If I'm going to grow, I've got to be around people that are growing, people that are progressing, people that are making life happen through their faith and their in ingenuity and their confidence in God. And so when you walk with the wise, you gain wisdom, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. The same destruction that's going to fall upon the fool is going to fall upon you because you're hanging out with, with fools. You know, there's an old saying that if you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas and you wonder why is this stuff attached to me? Who have you been with? Who have you been hanging out with? Who has had influence over your thoughts and your speech and your activity? Because that determines, hallelujah, outcomes, who you are connected with. Evil pursueth sinners. Evil chases sinners. Listen to me. Evil pursueth sinners, but the righteous good shall be repaid. God is going to honor the good of the righteous. Not righteous people who are self-righteous, but people who have been made righteous through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and who are living in righteousness because of their faith and their confidence in God. And God is going to reward righteous good. I know when we look at things sometimes, it seems like the sinner is getting over. It seems like the liar, the hypocrite, the cheat is advancing further in life than we are. Seems like sometimes there's a drag on us, but I want to remind you of what the word says. Let us not be weary in well doing for in due season. Hallelujah. I am a sincere believer that God God has a season where things are going to start working in your favor. I get it. It's been a hard time. It's been difficult choices, difficult scenarios, hard tests and hard trials. But I'm speaking as the Lord's servant that you're about to enter the season where things begin to work in your favor. Just keep on walking with the wise. Keep on living righteously. Keep on living in obedience to the word and trust and believe. Believe God is going to turn things around. I've heard testimony after testimony about this phrase God gave me. Turn around. Oh, hashadama. And in this second half of the year, God is engaging in turnaround. Things that weren't working were going to, are going to start working because God has decreed it so. My time is up. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. And thank God for this word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for this day. I thank you for last night's rest. And God, for waking us this morning 
We're in our right minds. We were able to get out of the bed, able to start our day, able, my God, to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. Lord, I thank you right now for the morning prayer family. And whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or conference call, however we have come into this prayer room, I'm asking you, God, to flood the prayer room with your presence. Let us know that we are in the presence of the living God. We didn't get here by ourselves, but God, you brought us here. And Lord, you intend to bless us. And I pray now for the release of miracles, signs, and wonders upon everybody that's in this prayer room. And God, I'm praying that you would answer the many requests that have come, my God, from everywhere. Lord, we're praying for deliverance. We're praying for healing. We're praying for the destruction of yokes. We're praying, my God, for doors to be open in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today that you would remember Hallelujah, Pat Bishop and Lady Alde, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Jenkins today, Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop Clifton Staten, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady Diaz, Bishop and Lady Wallace, Apostle and Lady Keith today, Apostle and Lady Parsons, Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Lady Barry, Apostle and Mother Jackson, Apostle and Lady May, Apostle and Mother Clark, Apostle and Lady Reuben, Apostle and Lady McCoy today. Apostle and Mother Moultrie Oh God everybody in the name of Jesus Christ Remember Bishop Jones Remember Pastor and Lady Patton Remember Pastor Johnson Remember Aquanetta Williams today Daquan, Beverly, Tanika, Shana Taylor Ellen Adams and family Beverly Taylor, Deborah and family Dora, Hop, Dorothy Atkins today Remember Nita Winston today Minister Wayne Horton Arlene Woodbury, Mother Beverly Knoll Remember Patricia Muhammad and her family Remember the Assembly Oaks apartments. Remember Sister Teresa Page. God, I pray for Refuge Temple today. I pray for Greater Refuge Temple of New York, of Washington, of Charleston, of Lakeland and Jacksonville. I pray for Faith Refuge, my God, of Harrisburg. I pray, my God, hallelujah, for Shiloh of Atlantic City, Shiloh of Plainfield. I pray for Refuge in Pleasantville. I pray for House of Faith Bible Church in Mays Landing. God, I pray for Macedonia. I pray, my God, that you remember St. John's, every church that's represented in this prayer line today, the Community Church of Astoria, the Community Church of Island, God, remember them now remember Raylene, remember Bria remember the Brown family, the Treadwell family, remember Deacon Anthony and Sister Deborah Brown, remember Latasia, Stefan, remember my God Bradley, remember, oh God Tony, hallelujah today, remember the Chetram family, Pastor and Lady Chetram, remember my God Ricky God bring deliverance, remember Remember Karina Bailey. Remember Daphne Perry. Remember D. Jamison Green today. Remember the Rich and Greer families. God, I'm praying that you remember Ricardo. Remember Caribbean Refuge Temple today. Remember the Herbert family. Remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. Remember my God, Irvin Johnson today. I pray my God for hallelujah, Trinidad, Tobago. I pray hallelujah for the Dominican Republic, for St. Lucia, for St. Kitts. I pray today that you remember the Bahamas today, that you remember Jamaica, all the people of God everywhere. God, I pray today for Mother Barbara Pittman, for Deacon Lewis, for the Mason family, for Kyan and Keelan, for Stacy and Trayvon. My God, I pray I pray for Lady Lisa Kinchin. I pray for Sister Seneca Austin. I pray for the Edwards, the Myers, the Butler, and the Stacy families. I pray for Jamal and Dakasha, for the Greer family today, for Sister Deborah Walker, for Terrence and Manessa. I pray for Miracle God. Send deliverance, God. I pray for Makeda. I pray for Hodges today. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, Jamal and Erica, Shakita. God, remember my God, Julie. Remember Adrian and Mother Gardner. Lord, Every name on the prayer list, every name sent by the chat, by text or messenger or email. God save and shut time out. Save to the utmost. God destroy yokes, break chains in the name of Jesus and let them be born of the water and of the spirit. I pray God that you remember the backslider, that you oh God pursue, reclaim, restore and bring them back to their appointed and anointed place. I pray for everybody that's downcast, everybody that's burdened, everybody that's broken, everybody 
my God, in fear, everybody, oh God, in every condition, that you would bless and deliver now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we're praying today for healing for the sick everywhere, everywhere, God. Somebody is suffering in their body, but we're praying for them now. We're praying for Kathleen Murphy Jackson, God. We're praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry for your healing power. We're praying, my God, for Zebra. We're praying for Pastor Kevin Kitchen. We're praying for Mother Sharp, Mother Reavers, Mother Brian. We're praying for Sister Jackie Poole. We're praying for Sister T today, for James and for Terrence. We're praying for Charity Strawman, healing of the body, the soul, and the spirit. We're praying for Miracle Destiny. We're praying for Anissa Rock today. We're praying, my God, that you remember Buddy Winston this morning. We're praying for Lady Davis and for Geneva, my God, and for Derry and for Azaria. We're praying, my God, for Phoenicia Luntz for today. We're praying, hallelujah, for Bishop Michael Austin. We're praying for Jakiah Graves, for Daquan, for Thomas Hodge, for Sharon Hodge. We're praying for Stacy Watson today, for Nay Esbitt today, for Lilton Pitts. We're praying for Nympha Leonce today, for Jayla. We're praying for Hilda Paler today, for Deborah Dalberry's sister, for Harvey Lucas, for Alice Pugh, for Renee Davis, for Maddie Ingram today. We're praying for Joseph Foster. We're praying for Sedendris today, for Trixie Norris, for Latanya, for Bessie Drawn, for Maggie Kennedy today, for Bernice Foster. We're praying, my God, for Betty. We're praying for Arita, for Miss Austin, for Geraldine Harmon, for Bryson Dudley, for Liz Welch, for Lamar Blair, for Mother Myers today. We're praying, my God, for Elaine, for Doris Williams. We're praying, God, for Renee's mother. We're praying for Mother Lois Harrison, for Monica, for Denise Dillard, for Mercy. God, everybody that's sick everywhere, touch their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Minister Perkins, for Daniel, for Xavier, for Deacon Adams today, for Deacon and Mother Wilson, for Deacon, hallelujah, and Sister Harrison. I'm praying for Brother Phil Solomon. I'm praying that you remember in the name of Jesus, Elder Toll's mother, Elder Toll, Elder Dokes. I'm praying, God, that you would remember in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Mother Virgie DuBose, Mother Mary Williams, Mother Lloyd, Mother Perry, Mother Meadows today, Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy today. Remember, my God, Missionary, hallelujah, Jesse Brisbane. Remember, Missionary, hallelujah, Marlene Roseman today, Missionary Hodges today. Remember, my God, Sister Denise McLean, in the name of Jesus. Remember, Mother Wilson. Remember, Brother Carl, Deacon Grant. Remember, my God, Philip Grant today. Remember, Pastor and Lady Winston. Remember, my God, Bishop and Mother D. Remember, Apostle and Lady Keith today. I pray for Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. I pray for Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close, Mother Coleman today, Sister Shakaya Polk. I lift up Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Johnny Davis, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Brian Williams today. I pray for Mother Viola Johnson, Mother Hardy, Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Pamela Davenport, Mother Stokes today. Remember Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, I pray today that you remember Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember Mother Garvin today. Remember Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother, Mother Jill and Mother Pride today. God, remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Shatama, remember my God, healing virtue now. Hallelujah upon, hallelujah, Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray, Brother and Mother Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, Brother Keith today. God, remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, Lady Staten, remember Minister Carr. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. God, remember Mother Foster, Henry J, and Brother Cliff. I pray, God, for, hallelujah, Mother Tanaj, Mother Home, and Missionary Simmons, Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. I pray for Marlette today, for Maurice today, for Tony, for Dennis, for Kimberly, for Cynthia today, for Mother Jackson, Apostle Moultrie, God. Lord, I pray for healing. Oh, God, upon everybody that has a need today in every hospital every nursing home, every rehab center. God, remember those, oh God, that are dealing with so many health issues, God. Remember those fighting central nervous system conditions, the liver, the spine, the immune system. Remember Brother Keith today. Remember my God, Joanne Rich. Remember Mother Welch. Remember, hallelujah, Deacon and Mother Wilkins, God. Remember Melissa. Remember Sylvia Hood, Janetta Rogers. Remember Sister Glenda Bryant. Thank you for what you're doing.
doing. God, continue that work now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, even in hospice, you remain the healer. So touch and heal today. God, I pray for grieving people everywhere. God, we lift up, hallelujah, my brother, Bishop Horace Michael and his family. God, we're praying today that you would remember, hallelujah, Bishop Daryl Forehand, Lady Forehand and their family. My God, remember Nicole, Kayla, Simone, Riley, Dee Dee Bradley, the Bradley family. Remember Pastor Dalton and his family, God. Remember, hallelujah, Deacon and Sister Frazier and their family. Remember, my God, the Troublefield family. Remember Evelyn Johnson and family. Remember, hallelujah, the Brown, the family of Bishop Kirby Brown. My God, the Greater Deliverance Temple family. All of his friends and relatives, God, continue to strengthen. Remember, my God, Rita Porter. Remember, Missionary Rosa Hicks. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Bishop and Mother Jenkins. I pray for the Obama Robinson family, for Elder Young and his family, God, for the family of Reverend Harry Williams, for District Elder Shy, Deacon Michael Shy and the Shy family, for Minister Jamie Carr and his family, Mother Sally Carr and her family, Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. I pray for Bishop Henry Davenport, his siblings and the family. I pray for Deacon Shannon and the family of Mother Davenport, my God of Connecticut. I pray for Kimberly Clark today and her family, for Lady Cubitt and the family, God. I pray for Mother Viola Johnson, for Rita Porter today, for Missionary Rosa Hicks, for Shannon Lucas today, for Zach and family, for Rita Dalton and family, for Elder Toll and his family, God. I pray for Kenzie Johnson's family, Pastor and Lady Willie White and the family. I pray for Mary Dykes and her family, God. I pray for Reverend Early Jones and the family, the Brown family, the Mann family, the McGee family, the Williams family, the Watley family. I pray for Janine Simmonson today, the Mosley family, God. I pray for Harvard the Dickerson family, Evelyn Herona family. I pray for Mother Walker and Mother Moya, for Jaleesa, for Jackie, for Jerry. Oh God, for Phoenicia, for Whitney, for Takesha and their families. I pray for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. I pray, my God, for Dr. Carter and the family. I pray for Apostle Phil, Shekinah and the family. God, I pray for the Quarles family, for Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family, the Groover family, the Kramer family. God, I lift up Jackie today. I pray, God, that you remember, my God, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family, the Meadows family, the Moya family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. Remember the White family. Remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families, the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. God, I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh God, remember today. Hallelujah. In your precious name, the Nunn family, the Umstead family, Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeze, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades, the Middletons, the Taylors, the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family today. Remember the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs, the Davis family, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moores, the Adams family, the Austin family, the Austin family. God, hallelujah. Oh God, and the Harbison family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, give them comfort, grace, and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. God, remember the young people, my God of the church today. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists, the entire body of Christ. Let the church walk in wisdom. Let the church walk in obedience to your word. God, let the church walk, hallelujah, according to your will. I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, my God, that you remember school employees and students everywhere. God, I'm praying today that you would remember in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, first responders, essential workers, school employees and students everywhere. God, remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, everybody that works, God, keep them, protect them, provide for them. Everybody that needs a job, God, create an opportunity. And everybody, my God, that's on a fixed income, God, make a way. Everybody, God, that's homeless, God, open a door in the name of Jesus Christ. And look on this troubled world, trouble everywhere. But God, you remain the bomb in Gilead. You remain the great physician.
position. So God, cover us, keep us, protect us in the name of Jesus Christ and heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And God, let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Lord, we need you daily. Comfort us, keep us, provide for us. And as you do all of this, God, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on. Let's give God praise right now. Everybody on the line, come on. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. Good shall be repaid. Good shall be repaid. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And when you do the right thing and do right by people, trust me, it's going to come back to you. God is going to honor it and God is going to honor you for doing what is right before him. Hallelujah. That's the goal, saints, just to do right, just to do right. Our theme at this convocation was to do justice and doing justice means just doing the right thing. Hallelujah. Doing the right thing and watching God bless your life and giving him the glory when he does it. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Stay with us and stay connected and share this prayer service. If you can, share it so that someone else can see it and be encouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank every single person that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift. Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 355 Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, refugetemplenc.com, and you may give on the donate page. You can also share through the GiveLify app. Just type Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church so you know you're in the right place and you can make your gift there. Or if you have cash app, our cash app is dollar sign capital O N E capital R E F U G E one refuge one refuge and you can make your gift there and we thank you for your giving but we thank you most of all for being attached to this morning prayer family because God is using this prayer to bless people all over the world so please keep coming keep praying and as you pray pray for me pray for Lady Davis pray for our children pray for my father my sisters my in laws our nieces our nephews our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us and let's pray one for another that the grace of God might follow us and keep us. The Lord repay you for all of the good you have shared in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.